Hello everyone. Um, today I want to talk about an issue which I've noticed a lot of people don't understand fully or they kind of misinterpret it. And what I really want to talk about is the issue which is threatening America the most. What, you know, what in America is threatening us the most? Um, a lot of people are saying, you know, should I vote Trump? Should I vote Biden? And honestly, I don't think it really matters who you vote for um, in this election. I think you should vote for whoever you want. But the issue that, I, that I'm talking about uh, is something that Trump actually promised to solve. Um, and he kind of has done it, but he hasn't solved it fully yet, which is why a lot of people want eight, you know, four more years. And it's something that Biden, I don't think, will solve ever, considering he was in part, um, well, he was part of planning it. So what a lot of people are saying is that nowadays you look at, well, let's say you're a person living in Ohio, which is very far from the Mexican border, which is where a lot of illegal immigration comes from. And if you're someone living in Ohio, uh, you'll notice that people around you are suffering from uh, opiate addiction and, you know, they're living in these rust belt cities where the production has fallen and people are no longer really working at factories and, and having the same livelihoods that they did back in the 50s and before. And part of this has to do with um, the fact that you'll notice that a lot of people are no longer working these factories. And the reason is, is because the rich people in America have sold out America to China. That, you know, the production has moved away from America and it's moved to China. Now, what I mean by rich people, I, I don't mean, you know, just your average person with a million dollars. I mean people who are owning businesses, CEOs, people who own large companies, who would, uh, if they were to have their employees in America, they would have these factories in America, they wouldn't have them anywhere else because it's an American company. But you'll notice that a lot of these CEOs, they're making a lot of stuff in China now because it's cheaper. But this didn't used to be the case. If you go back to the 50s, uh, people back then, they would leave high school, which back then was kind of like the equivalent of leaving college now. You were seen as a just a generally educated person. Um, they would, let's say again, you live in Ohio, you would look around your town and you'd see that there are a few factories they're hiring. Uh, but there are other places you could work. You could There are kind of lower class jobs you could take, as for example, being a janitor at a supermarket or... Um, shoveling uh, animal waste at a zoo. Those are, of course, jobs which you probably wouldn't want to have. It would be much better to work at a factory. And back then, there were plenty of these factories you could work at, and when you finished high school, you'd go and work at them, and you'd make a living wage, and you could buy your own house, and have kids, and have a car, and have a family, and so on. But when these business leaders started to sell out America to China, and the production moved over there, a lot of these people lost their jobs. And this is a recurring issue in America. These people turn to drug addiction, they turn to, well, they turn to drugs and they became addicted. And they're not living very good lives anymore. Now, the business leaders, they don't want people to know what they did. They want to kind of uh, masquerade the problem. So what they do is they decided, well, we're going to blame illegal immigrants because we're going to say, well, they're taking your jobs. That's why, that's the reason why you don't have a job. But that's not really true. Um, although I'm not an adult yet, I've never been at a job offer and they've told me, no, sorry, you know, an illegal immigrant has already taken this job. You can't have it. I mean, that just doesn't really happen. Um, the truth is illegal immigrants are taking jobs which Americans wouldn't want to do in the first place, um, such as being a janitor or a supermarket, for example. So what's happened is that after these jobs moved to China, uh, a lot of people, while well, they, they saw, okay, the factory's closed, where can I work now? And they noticed that the only place they could work is, you know, at the zoo, shoveling. You know, it's not something you want to do. So they look to the government, and the government says, well, look, we got, you know, millions of people don't have jobs, what are we going to do? So they decide to uh, start a program called welfare, social welfare. And welfare has been the most disastrous thing that America's 
ever implemented. It's probably the worst thing that's ever happened to America. Because what it did is, it, what it did to the common person is the common person would say, well, I could work being a janitor at the supermarket, or I could just get welfare and not have to work. And sure, I'll be, I'll be slightly poorer, but I'll have enough money to live, and that's all that matters. So it's made Americans very unproductive. And the business leaders will try to claim that the illegal immigrants are taking their jobs. But in reality, the Americans are in welfare in the first place. So the fact that someone else has taken a job that they don't want isn't really an issue. So when someone claims that illegal immigration is such a big issue, I really don't think it is. Especially if you live in Ohio, which is so far away from where most illegal, illegal immigrants live. Perhaps if you live in southern Texas, it's a different uh, it's a different deal, but that's not really much of America. Most of America does not live within range of Mexico or, or most of these so-called illegal immigrants that are coming here. So what I really think the biggest issue is right now uh, is China. And of course, China wants their, the production to move there because they were very poor. And recently, the standard of living has raised substantially in China. And this has to do with the factories being there. So what I think is that um, I think that whoever the next president is, what they should do is eliminate welfare, not completely, but just, you know, for people who are too lazy to work and move the jobs back to America. This is very important. America will not survive if its jobs are not in America. I mean, every country out there, you know, you look at, for example, India, when they're producing things, if there's an Indian company, they will make their things in India. They don't outsource their production. Uh, you look at Russia, for example, Russia, you know, they're not always doing very well, but if you look at the kind of products that they use there and they don't export many things, they make stuff mostly for their own market, but they make it in Russia. Even the cars they drive there, they all drive Russian cars because it's just a thing they do there. They don't take, they don't import things from other countries that, that much. They have everything they need. And so does America, honestly, but we like to, you know, the business leaders like to save money. So whoever the president is, please uh, get rid of the, you know, sucking off the government's teeth in terms of welfare and the whole China issue. Now, I don't think we should get rid of welfare entirely. I think there is a purpose for welfare. Um, for example, let's say you had a job and you just can't find one. If you're some kind of educated person, you can't find one. You're, you're, you're on unemployment, you're on welfare. That's fine. And I will say, you know, when my mother came to this country, she uh, immigrated here legally. She was, uh, her family was on welfare for a little bit because, you know, they didn't speak English and they didn't have any money because when they left the Soviet Union, they did not, they were not allowed to take any money with them. Um, so, but they're not on welfare anymore. Now they're all doing very well. So I would say that the welfare really helped them out at that time. But if you're someone who has no work ethic and you just want to suck off the government, um, well, then you shouldn't have money. And the problem is that Democrats, I've noticed most of them, they know that welfare is destroying America's economy. It's destroying America's economy. But they're not going to do anything about it because their base of supporters are people who are receiving welfare. So to them, they're going to say, oh, welfare is so great. It's, it's amazing. And the people who support them will say, of course it is. I'm getting paid, you know. And uh, it's really a shameful thing that's happened to America. I think whoever the president is, they should not look to their own party. They should not look to anything other than the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence and everything that America stands for. And if, they, if that's trampled, then I don't know what else to say. Um, that's basically my message. Thank you and goodbye.